Into the 1870s, it was still common for homemade beer to be distributed in local businesses as the changeover from home production to dedicated breweries was still underway. Breweries in Rock Island started out as small independent companies competing for the local market. The Atlantic Brewery, started by German immigrant Joseph Schmidt, was one such early business. Another German immigrant, George Wagner, purchased the brewery from Schmidt in 1865. They called them uh, Jar of Fun. They would take those and put out a jar of those. And then if the winners weren't pulled out and they got down a ways and they didn't get the winners, a half on the winners were still, they dumped that off, and put a, a new set in there. Then. Yeah. When the first cone tops came out in about 1935. Uh, they went all the way up through uh, 1960, probably, with different breweries. But um, this is this is actually a can that was brewed in Davenport from the Black Hawk Brewing Company. Those are barrels. This is what they call pre-prohibition barrel. In other words, they quit. This this barrel was used before 1917. It is estimated that local breweries produced 18,000 barrels of beer annually during the decade. This had a positive effect on another local industry, lumber. Davenport Brewing Company. Now that <laughs> building is down on 3rd Street, right at 3rd and uh, just a little bit west of 3rd on, uh, on Division, off of Division, just west of Division on 3rd Street, and that has that same logo on the top. If you went down and looked at that, you'd see that today. Visit us at our website at gahc.org to view behind the scene photos of the exhibit.